now has accessed the remand note of uh, Chanda Kochar and Deepak Kochar along with the Venugopal Dhut as well. As per the remand, crucial points have been highlighted that the accused are required to be interrogated thoroughly on voluminous documents involved in this case for further investigation. Also that the accused are required to be interrogated to unearth criminal conspiracy with our other unknown public servants and unknown private people. Let me go across to Shweta who's accessed this remand note for us. Shweta, yes, break down the details please. Well, absolutely here this comes in very, very significant development where two more days CBI custody has been given to Chanda Kocher, Deepak Kocher, along with Venu Gopal Dut in the entire case of ICICI Bank and Videocon fraud loan case. Now, as we have accessed exclusively the remand copy, the latest remand copy, in fact, few significant points have been highlighted in the remand copy, which firstly talks about that how all the three accused has to be sit together and they have to be interrogated for the voluminous documents. Yes, you heard that correct. This is very important for the proper investigation. Now comes another point where they have said that the accused people have to require for the further interrogation when it comes to the, uh, you know, when it comes to the unknown public servants and known private persons. So yes, more names can be emerged out after this kind of investigation. What is being done by the CBI? Now, very, very important thing what CBI has put across this in the remand copy stating that the case is at very crucial stage. This has been highlighted in the remand copy of the Central Bureau of Investigation while they are probing Chanda Kocher, Deepak Kocher and Venu Gopal Dut of Videocon Group. They have said that the stage is at very crucial stage. Along with this, they have also mentioned the point that the accused have to be further confronted with each other. This is the okay. point well time and again was spoken by the CBI, in fact by the investigating officer also that uh, confrontation is must. Cross-examination by all the accused sitting together is must. And this is the exclusive remand copy what Times Now has accessed, breaking down the important points for our viewers. Back okay, to you. all right. So, trouble mounting for the coachers and for Venu Gopal Dhut. Let me go across to Aditi as well, who's joining us with more details on the remand copy that Times Now has now accessed. Aditi. Krishmin, this is the exclusive remand copy note that we have accessed and over here the CBI has written that it is further alleged that on 26th the existing outstanding of of the RTL accounts were adjusted in RTL of rupees 1730 crores sanctioned under the re redefines of domestic debt. Now that during investigation it has been found that in furtherance of the criminal conspiracy with other accused persons, Ms. Chanda Kocha sanctioned various loans to Videocon Group despite her husband having business dealings with Sri V. N. Dhut. That investigation revealed that on in 2009, an amount of rupees 64 crores was transferred out of the dispersed, dispersed amount of rupees 283.45 crores, sanctioned to Videocon International Electronic Limited by a committee headed by Ms. Chanda Kocher to the company's account of a husband, Sri Deepak Kocher. Thus, Ms. Chanda Kocher has committed criminal breach of trust, which is punishable under the IPC section of 109. Now, this is the sanctioning of RTL of rupees 300 crore and later on converted the funds of rupees 64 crores for her own use. Now this is what the CBI is alleging and that's why the remand has been extended and that's what the CBI is seeking right now. Okay, all right. So that's the latest coming in. Uh, stay on with us, Sadati. I'll go back to Shweta once again. Shweta, this only means that trouble continues to mount for the accused because apart from uh, the two-day CBI custody that has now been granted, the CBI also making its intention amply clear that the accused are required to be interrogated through thoroughly on voluminous documents involved. So they have enough ev evidence to now cross-question the accused. Doubtlessly, in fact, if we see the entire sequence taking place after the uh, arrest of Chanda Kocher, Deepak Kocher and the latest arrest, which was the third arrest of uh, VN Dut, we are here seeing that uh, more documents have been emerging out and this is what the investigating officer had to say before the court. Now, see, the, uh, if we just talk about the entire case, the matter arises between how exactly 1,730 crore was sanctioned by Chanda Kocher while she was on the post, on, on the top 
post of course i mean and after this it was seen that 64 crores that was an illegal gratification done to vn dooth via vn dooth it went to deepak coaches firm that is new power renewable limited nrl and after that it came back to chanda coaches which remained to be an illegal gratification this is the whole crux of the story where why after so many years also they have no answer for how did this exactly 64 crores have come up and after this it has been also stated that it is not just 1730 crore in between also it has been seen that the icici bank has incurred the loss of somewhere around 3000 crore but uh, talking on the defense end we have seen that they have been stating the fact that all the uh, all the loans which were taken by were uh, were given back to the icici bank but yes again the question is of 64 crore what exactly happened to it so yes the probing agency is uh, getting more in intensified with their probe and chanda kochar deepak kochar along with the founder of uh, videocon group that's uh, venu gopal nandlal dut is uh, under the custody of cbi more interrogation okay. to take place more trouble to intensify for all the three accused as this has been the long awaited case back to you okay all right thank you shweta for that the three accused remember have been arrested for alleged cheating and irregularities in loans sanctioned by icici bank during coachers tenure to videocon group companies we track that very closely in the meanwhile shift our focus to more we're tracking with regard